this is a co question from caching they are telling about a two level inclusive cache hierarchy l1 and l2 where l2 is the larger of the two which means we have a cache hierarchy l1 and l2 such that l2 lies above l1 it is a larger one so we have to consider these two statements and determine which of them is true first one is saying that read misses in a write through l1 cache so this l1 is a write through cache it does not result in write back of dirty lines to the l2 so first let us understand all these terminologies what is write through and what is write back these are the two types of cache we have in case of this write through cache what happens is that the data is simultaneously copied to all the levels which means in l1 and l2 we will be simultaneously updating the data while in case of this write back cache what happens is that the data is updated let us say here we have memory and here we have a cache so in case of write back the data is updated in cache only for the time being while it is updated in memory at a later stage not simultaneously in case of write through both are updated at the same time but in case of write back that does not take place let us also understand the statement s2 first then we will discuss which of them is true now this one is saying a write allocate policy must be used in conjunction with write through cache and no write allocate policy should be used with write back cache so now we got to know what is a write through cache and a write back cache but let us also understand these terminologies the write allocate policy and the no write allocate policy now these are the two policies we usually use in the cache while writing let us understand each of them in this write allocate or the write allocation policy what we do is this is memory here we have a cache so in this the data gets loaded from this memory into the cache and then it is updated which means before updating we first bring the copy of that data from memory to this cache and then it gets updated over here so that is about right allocate we don't update the data directly first we load it into the cache while in case of this no right allocate policy what happens is again we have this memory and this cache so in this no right allocation policy the we directly write the data which means data is directly written and this uh, main memory without involving the cache so no copy of this data is loaded into the cache it is directly updated in the main memory so that was about the write allocation and no write allocation policies and these are the two types of cache we have and there is a certain mapping we can have such as these are the types of cache write through write back and these are the uh, allocation policies we can either have right allocation or no right allocation now the thing is both of these uh, policies can be used with any of these cache it is possible that with a right through cache we can have a right allocation policy or a no right allocation policy and in the same way with this right back cache also we can use both of these policies but which is the optimal mapping that is what they are asking us in this statement s2 so first of all coming to statement s1 so what it is saying that it is talking about the read misses we already know what is a read miss and what are the dirty bits that is the operating systems concept so here what will happen is this l1 it has been given that it is a right through cache so if there is any read miss in this write through cache then that will result in a that will be a read allocate policy here we were talking about the write policies whether we should do write allocation or no write allocation but here if we are having a read miss then that will cause a read allocate there will be no write back in this case because it is a write through cache then both these l1 and l2 because l2 lies above in the hierarchy that l1 so both of them will be updated in the same write operation because that is what we saw over here write through cache it deals with 
simultaneous updates so both l1 and l2 will be updated during the same write operation so this will not result in any dirty bits and hence there will be because it is a write back cache there will be no dirty blocks and no dirty bits hence in case of a read miss it will simply bring this missed block from l2 to l1 what do we mean by a read miss that we were searching for a block in the cache which was not present there so in case of this write through cache what have what will happen is that missing block in l1 will be fetched from l2 and after fetching it what we'll be doing is we will replace let us say l1 has these two blocks it wants block number 3 it is having block 1 and block 2 so it will fetch this block 3 from l2 and it will replace one of these blocks using it but there will be no need to write the copy of this block 1 back into this l2 because it will already be there it will already be there in the updated format itself so we can directly fetch it and there is no need to write back so this tells us that the statement s1 is true and now coming to s2 here they are talking about the mapping between the type of cache and the policies to be used with them so let us understand this using this example let us say if we generally what happens is the write allocation policy that is generally not used with the write through cache what will happen if, the, if we use this particular pairing let us see because it will become then unnecessary to bring the data from memory to the cache we brought the data from memory to the cache and then it will be updated in both the cache as well as the main memory because it is write through cache so that requires us multiple updates and it is unnecessary that is an overhead so visually avoid this particular mapping of write allocation policy with write through cache this is not used and then in the same way what would happen if we use this no write allocation policy with a write back cache then in this case what will happen is this is memory this is cache so here what will happen the data updation in memory will take place two times because first time because of the write back policy and second time because of this no write allocation policy so it will involve us to have two two times of updates so again this particular pairing is not used so this no allocation policy with write back caches also not used but in theory all the four mappings are true but in practical usage we go for write through cache and no write allocation policy write back cache and write allocation policy so what are they saying write allocation most be used with write through cache is that true write allocate with write through cache and they are saying most be used so this becomes incorrect so as a result statement 1 is true and statement 2 is false so we will be going with option a